the little single chick that I have in the incubator is finally starting to hatch. And it actually has taken a lot longer than a lot of other eggs that I've hatched before. So I was getting a little worried that something was wrong, but everything looks like it's going to probably be all right. But sadly, I did yesterday go through and candle all of the American breast eggs that I had in there and I removed all but one. There was like no development in any of them. The one that I left in there, I'm just, I can't really see that well through the shell, so I'm not entirely sure if that one is even doing anything. No. It looks like baby Oa will be hatching here shortly, probably within like 30 minutes or so. So I need to get in there and see how that's going. Last year we had stored what was left of our potatoes down here to see if storing them under our house would work. So we're gonna find out. I think we'll call that a success. Oh. Well, except that they're sprouting before we were ready for them to. Yeah, I mean really. I mean like if you were keeping them to like eat, you'd have had to. Yeah. But I guess they probably didn't start that until Recent. I mean, I was down right. here during the winter and they weren't. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, technically we probably would have already eaten these by now, you know? I don't know about the potatoes on the bottom, if they survived or not, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. I brought the seed potatoes from under the house in this room and give them a little bit of sunlight and see if we can green those up a little bit. We're gonna try to plant those and see how they go <laughs> and i guess next year we just have to know that we have to kind of maybe get them out of there a little sooner and i don't know i'm not really sure what the plan is going to be because they kind of sprouted a little too much but i do have 25 pounds of kennebec seed potatoes that i ordered since we didn't have that many of our own because we didn't have a great harvest last year for our potatoes and i'm going to go ahead and start sprouting those or what's also known as chitting Today, I'm going to be digging up these walking onions that I planted here. They're actually, where they are now, going to be on the other side of what's going to be like the doggy fenced-in area. And fortunately, it's pretty muddy today and I was kind of hoping I would have like one more day to dry things out, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I need to go ahead and get this done. And as you can see, they're already pretty green, but that'll be all right. And I think what I'm going to do is move them down here next to our storage building. Hopefully they'll do all right down there. It kind of gets like not full sun, but mostly full sun. So we'll see. I found 
dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way I found my way In bad times I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way So all the walking onions are moved and hopefully they do okay here. We'll see. And then Kaja and I went inside and we checked on little baby Oa and she is napping. And it's no wonder. I'll tell you what, if you've ever seen a baby chicken hatch before, you know how utterly exhausting it must be. It's just, it's really incredible. I wanna plant some peas today and I have, never really had good luck before with peas so trying to get them in the ground a little earlier this year but i've kind of had the dilemma of where exactly do i want to plant these because we still need to till our garden at some point a little bit later to get ready for all our main crops so i don't want to get in the way of that and then of course we have you know our new fencing project that we're working on here for the doggy fence i don't want to get in the way of that so the only place that I can think to put them is along here, which is where I, you know, planted these Egyptian walking onions. The only thing that I don't like about this spot is that it doesn't get full sun, which during the summer it mostly does, but during this time of year, definitely not. Uh, uh, wait. That's everything that I needed to do in the garden today. Well, it's everything that I can do in the garden today. And it was a little muddier than I thought it was gonna be, but it wasn't too bad. And honestly, <laughs> it just felt good to be back out in the garden. Like it's just so exciting that spring is coming and we're getting our hands back in the garden again. And yeah, it's just the absolute best time of the year, I think. Glenn is doing our first brush hogging of the year, which I just love the smell of that fresh cut grass. Yep, spring is here. Glenn got all his brush hogging done, but we have this pile of like limbs and debris or whatever from like clearing land up and stuff and trails or whatever from last year and this year that the pile's just gotten bigger and bigger and we've been waiting for just the perfect weather to burn, not too dry, not too wet. And I think today or tonight is gonna be a really good night to try to do it. Chicken? Mm-hmm. I don't blame you. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good position to be in. Mm-hmm. 